Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this session, we are going to see some important questions that have to be clear if you are a beginner. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. So, the first question is, what is Terraform? Terraform is an open source infrastructure as code tool developed by HashiCorp. It is used to define and provision the complete infrastructure using an easy to learn declarative language. It is an infrastructure provisioning tool where you can store your cloud infrastructure setup as codes. It's very similar to tools such as CloudFormation, which you would use to automate your AWS infrastructure, but you can only use that on AWS. With Terraform, you can use it on other cloud platforms as well. In the second question we have, why Terraform use for DevOps? There are several reasons why one could use Terraform for DevOps. And the first one is, it can do complete orchestration, and not just configuration management, like the tools, Ansible and Puppet. It also has amazing support for all, almost all the popular cloud providers like Amazon services, Azure Global Cloud Platform, etc. It can easily manage the configuration of immutable infrastructure. And because of this one characteristic, it can make configuration changes very smoothly. That is extremely easy to learn and understand. Also it is easily portable from one provider to another. And it is very easy to install Terraform in various OS, like on Linux, Windows, Mac, etc. In the third question we have, what is Terraform in it? Terraform initializes the code using the command, Terraform in it. This command is used to initialize the working directory, containing Terraform configuration files. It is safe to run this command multiple times, so you can use the init command for three reasons. The first reason is for plugin installation. The second is for child module installation. And the third is for backend initialization, okay? In the fourth question we have, how does Terraform work? Now, the basic explanation approach that you choose will be the foundation of which the next line of interview questions would be formulated. So it is best to have a simple approach and cover all the major parts. By beginning with the stages of Terraform lifecycle, there are four stages. Terraform init, Terraform plan, Terraform apply, and Terraform destroy. Terraform init is implemented in the initial stage to create an operational directory that contains all the Terraform configuration file details. In the second stage, that is Terraform plan. As the name suggests is to implement an execution strategy that will be implemented at a certain stage of development. It is an important aspect, as it will be the judging parameter to ensure whether the expectations are met. The third stage is the Terraform apply, which will ensure that the plan is set in motion in the selected time frame to reach in the required plan state of the infrastructure. Finally, we have Terraform destroy, which is the last stage where the feature is used to eliminate all the applied resources. Moving on fifth question we have, how to check the installed version of Terraform. Now, for example, if you want to check the version in Windows, you just launch PowerShell and enter the Terraform dash version command, and this will show all the details of your Terraform. Also, to check more, you can use the Terraform dash help command. You can basically use the Terraform dash version command to identify the version which you're running on. Moving on to the sixth question we have, what is a provider in Terraform? And enlist some Terraform providers. Terraform provider is responsible for understanding API interactions and exposing resources. Providers generally are an infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, or software as a service, services. So you have various providers like Alibaba Cloud, AWS, GCP, Microsoft Azure and OpenStack for IaaS services. For PaaS services you have Heroku. And for SaaS services you have Terraform Cloud, Cloudflare, DN Simple, etc. Now moving on to the seventh question we have. Describe a few Terraform CLI commands and the functions. Firstly, we have the init command, which is used to initiate the process, which is included in Terraform. Then we have the get command which helps to chart a path to a mention module that can be triggered as in when required. Now using the CLI command, you can create a wishful representation of the configuration, using the graph command. The validat command is a command, 
that is used as validation for the respective configuration file if they're syntactically consistent. Finally, the FMT command. It consists of configuration files with a different set of format and style that are re-returned with this command. Moving on to the eighth question we have. What are modules in Terraform? A module in Terraform is a container for several resources that are used together. The root module is compulsory for every Terraform that include resources mentioned in the .tf files. Whereas you have child modules that you will be creating, you can think of modules as packages in Python. In the ninth question we have, what is a resource graph in Terraform? Resource graph is a visual representation of the resources, and it really helps to create and modify the independent resource. Simultaneously, Terraform will basically create a plan for configuring the graph to refresh state, generate plan, etc. The resource graph is used to create the structure most effectively and efficiently, and it helps to understand the drawbacks of the infrastructure. Finally we have, what is Terraform in AWS? Terraform by HashiCrop, an AWS partner network, advanced technology partner and member of the AWS DevOps competency as an infrastructure as code tool, which is very similar to AWS CloudFormation. That really allows you to create, update and version your Amazon Web Services infrastructure. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.